Ready to make some cool sea creatures? Stay tuned. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a dolphin, a shark, an orca, uh, various balloon animals that are under the sea. Get your balloons in hand and let's get started. For your shark balloon, you're going to need two 260 balloons. I'm using gray. You could try it in white, maybe in blue. Up to you. Inflate your two 260 balloons to about uh, four inches from the end. Let's get started. Unlike most balloon animals, you're actually going to start from the tail and not from the head as you would with a balloon animal dog and numerous other balloon animals. You're going to make a basic twist of about four inches. Now you're going to make a small fold twist. And this creates the tail of the shark. Make a basic twist of about three inches. Now make two pinch twists. You should have something that looks like this. This is the tail, the body, part of the body of the shark, and two pinch twists. Now you're going to create a three balloon push through. So let's do that, and maybe about uh, four inches. Now we're gonna have to cut off some of this end, but you want your third balloon to approximately match the first two. Push it through. And now you're going to discard the rest of the balloon. You can use the tearing method or use scissors. Tie it off. And then tuck it inside of the three balloon push through. And you have the basic body of a shark. Now we move to our second balloon. We're not going to use the entire balloon here, but what we're gonna do is just make fins. So all you have to do is make fins between two and three inches. So first of all, let's make a basic twist. We're gonna work on the dorsal fin first. We're gonna make a basic twist of about uh, two and a half inches. Hold it. Now we're going to make another basic twist just a tad longer. Now we're going to take the nozzle over here and tie it into the twist over here. One other thing that'll help, if you take the nozzle and feed it through the middle, it will add security so it's unlikely to come undone. Now we're going to make a couple of small fold twists. Let's do that. One fold twist. Two fold twists. The rest of the balloon we're going to tear off and discard. Make sure you leave yourself some length here so it's easier to tie it off and secure everything. So let's just do that. I'm gonna tear it off, but you can use scissors. Tie it off. You'll have something that looks like this. Now let's put the two pieces together. What you're going to do is feed the fins into the three balloon push through.
And there you have your shark balloon. For your killer whale or orca, you're going to need three balloons. Two of them could be black or blue. I'm going to use blue because it shows up a little better on camera here than black would, especially against my black shirt. And you'll want a white balloon. So the two blue balloons inflate to about three inches from the end. The white balloon, uh, not as crucial, but let's say four inches from the end. Let's get started on our orca. Take the white balloon and one of the black or blue balloons. We're well, going to line them up first and then twist in the middle. That looks good. What I love about this killer whale is it captures the dark and lower sections of the killer whale, which makes this balloon sculpture kind of cool. Now you're going to twist all four of these segments together. Uh, let's make a basic twist of about uh, 9 or 10 inches. Now we're going to take the white balloon and make a pinch twist with each of the two white balloon segments. With the white balloon, you're going to tear off the end, this one right here with the nozzle. It's usually the tightest one. You're going to have two blue and one white. Take these three segments and make a basic twist of about two inches. Adjust it so the single white is under the bottom and the two blues are on the top. So you're maintaining that blue along the top. Now you're going to just make full twists. And if you like, you can make a pinch twist with the remainder of the white balloon. and tear off and discard the rest of the white balloon. So you have something that looks like this, and you can see the body of this killer whale forming. Take your third balloon, which would be a black or blue balloon, and what you're going to do is, you're going to tie the end of the balloon to the nozzle. Now you're going to separate this loop into thirds. I'd say right about there and twist these portions together. And twist this end into the middle here. You have something that looks like this. Now take your killer whale body and you're going to feed this in through the four balloons in the front. See how that feeds through? So you have the fins on the sides and a dorsal fin on top. And if you like, I like to give it one more twist so it gives it one of that, that kind of uh, shape there, a little bit more of a triangular shape. You can add some eyes and there you have a cool orca or killer whale. To make your dolphin balloon, you're going to need four balloons. 
Three of them you'll want probably the darker color and one of them you'll want a lighter color as I've done here. Now I have to warn you this isn't the most efficient use of make using and employing balloons in a sculpture but I think you'll find that it, the results are quite worth it. Of course you can uh, not use the uh, lighter color if you like. Uh, you can use all the same color, gray, whatever it is you want to use. So let's get started. Take one of your darker balloons and create a basic twist of about three inches. Now you're going to make a basic twist of about six inches. and make one more with a lock twist. And what you're going to do is actually tear off and discard the rest. Tie it off. You'll have something that looks like this, a basic twist here and two basic twists that essentially make a large full twist. Get your second balloon and take the nozzle and tie it into the back end here of your first balloon. Have something like this, your first balloon here, your second balloon here. Now make two pinch twists. You'll have something that looks like this. This is your first balloon and the two pinch twists are where the second balloon starts. Make a basic twist of about four inches. We're gonna make two fold twists. That's one. That's two. And now make a couple pinch twists for stability. Tear off or cut off and discard the rest and tie it off. You'll have something that looks like this. You have your first balloon, which goes up to here. You have your second balloon which comprises the tail section so two pinch twists a basic twist and two fold twists and pinch twists for stability now let's get your lighter colored balloon and add it to the mix take your lighter balloon and take the nozzle and wrap it into the pinch twists right here Now you're going to make a basic twist with the lighter balloon that matches this size right here. You're essentially making a three balloon push through with two different balloons, so push it through. You're going to cut off and discard the rest and tie it off. And you can see your dolphin forming. You have the nose here, you have a body, uh, you have your tail section, and now we're going to add the fins. With your third dark balloon, we're going to make the fins. So start off with a basic twist of about uh, three inches. Another basic twist, just a little bit smaller. 
and bring the nozzle end in and wrap them together into a lock twist. Now something that helps for stability is to take the nozzle and feed it between the two sections here. That will help the lock twist stay in place. Now we're going to make two fold twists approximately the same size. There's two, cut off and discard the rest. You'll have something that looks like this. Dorsal fin and two side fins. Now let's put it all together. Take your dolphin. Now uh, the dorsal fin, you're going to take this section here, the third dark balloon, and feed it into the three balloon push through on the dolphin. Let's do that. Make some adjustments, and there you'll have a dolphin balloon animal. Were you successful in making your undersea creatures? I hope so. Please give us a like and please subscribe because we have more instructional videos in the near future. Thanks for watching. Till next time.